Neighborhood Health Watch is sponsored by the doctors of HCA Virginia. The topic today in Neighborhood Health Watch is breast cancer. It's the second leading cause of death among women, and the National Breast Cancer Foundation says one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. It's also every two minutes a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer, and one woman will die of breast cancer every 13 minutes. Although breast cancer in men is rare, more than 2,000 men will get it, and roughly 480, 60 will die each year. Dr. Clifford Deal with Henrico Doctors Hospital is joining us today. Thanks a lot for joining us. We Thank appreciate you for it. having me. When a person gets that diagnosis, what can they expect in terms of treatment, in terms of what happens next? Well, the anxiety level is usually already high from the time that somebody's told you that you're imaging, you're either you found a lump or that your mammogram is abnormal. And then when you find out you have that diagnosis of cancer, it goes to being tremendous. And so the first thing we want to do is get you into the office and review everything that we have so far because often that first visit in the office will reassure you because it's usually caught small. It's usually caught early. Mm -hmm. And therefore, in a lot of cases, it's fixable. And you're right. On the emotional part of it, people can go from zero to 100 in terms of their fear level and anxiety. Explain what's happening in a person's body. Well, an abnormal cell has become uh, unregulated and therefore begins to divide. And for breast cancer, which is usually an invasive ductal cancer, starts in the milk ducts, mm -hmm. has the ability to spread to other places in the body. Not that it always has, but it has the ability to. And there are various treatment methods. Is chemotherapy always the way to go? That's a great question. So there are usually three main areas where we treat breast cancer. Some kind of surgery to remove the cancer. Uh, it's often we'll use radiation. But the big decision, and often where we'll have a lot of second opinions, is the decision of, to, of what kind of, if to use chemotherapy, and if so, what drugs. Mm -hmm. And we want to end on a positive note. Um, October, of course, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. What is the takeaway that you want our viewers to have? Well, first, first thing diagnosis? is get your mammogram. Mm -hmm. uh, the second thing is all cancers are dogs. Some are pit bulls and some are poodles. Mm -hmm. And breast cancer, they're not all the same. The biology is very different. It's often very, very treatable, and, and therefore you live a long time. So having that diagnosis is not necessarily a death sentence? Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. I wanted to ask one very quick question, too. What can a person expect um, when they go to the doctor's office? What should they come with? Well, most people uh, are barely getting there. Uh, often the most important thing is to bring a friend or loved one, spouse, somebody else, because from the time that you say the C word, often uh, for, you know, we usually have it talk for an hour. Right, and, right. And they have it, bring in a friend to that first office visit makes a big difference. All right, Dr. Deal, thank you so much for talking with us. We appreciate it.